How to talk to girls so that they find you attractive. You know, you want to get to that point where you're exclusive. So until you get exclusive, this is how you need to show up. Hi guys, welcome to the third and final part of this series on how to talk to girls. So today we're going to be talking about how you can talk to girls so that they find you attractive and basically the way that you need to show up when you are interacting with the girl that you like. So this video is based on the presumption that you have watched the previous two videos which uh, look like these. They should be in a playlist as well if you go onto my channel. Basically the first video went into actually developing your social skills so you get that foundation so you feel comfortable talking to many people not just the girls that you interact with. The second video got into how you can actually approach and talk to the girls that you actually like and how you should show up when you are on a date with them and how you need to behave in those first initial stages. This video is going to be about enhancing those skills learned in the second video and how you need to be if you are on a date with a girl and how you should continue to be acting when you are going on dates with said girl and basically through the courtship until you get to be her girlfriend or her boyfriend. You know you want to get to that point where you're exclusive so until you get exclusive this is how you need to show up. And also just to give you a taster on the next series that I'm making, it's going to be about relationships and how to maintain a healthy, good relationship with good communication. So if you've progressed through all of these videos and you get yourself a girlfriend, the next series is going to be about how you can maintain a happy and healthy relationship. So please keep an eye out for that. Please subscribe with the bell notifications on so you're able to access those videos. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to be more mysterious. And the best way to be mysterious is to actually give very little information about yourself unless she asks. So when you're on a date with a girl that you really like, you want to be asking her lots and lots of questions about her life. And when she asks questions about you, answer them, but be a tiny bit vague. But this doesn't mean like not answering the questions, it just means perhaps not giving her the full story. Because basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that she talks more than what you do when you're interacting with each other. And the reason why this is, is because it makes her, it makes her more interested in you. If you don't give away all of your information about yourself straight away, like, you know, you talk about your past relationships, you talk about the things that you've been through, the struggles and everything, if you talk about them all on the first date, it gives her nothing to go with anymore. You know, she, she's like, well, I just know you now. So, you know, she could get bored with you. So you want to make sure that you remain mysterious and you just do this by not really giving out that much information about yourself and basically not just throwing up your whole life story on her on the first time you meet or even worse, through messaging. You want to make sure that when you talk to her face to face, you have actually stuff to talk about and say to each other. You don't want to be giving away all your life information over the phone or over, or over text messaging. You want to do it in person, okay? And you want to do it only when she asks about you. And in a way, this is actually a good way to see how interested a girl is in you. So if you're asking questions about her life and she's answering, but she's not really asking questions about you, you know at that moment, at least, she's not as interested in you as you would hope for, because a girl that's interested in you will find you fascinating and will want to ask questions about your life. So when she does ask questions about you, just obviously give her an answer that's true, but be a little bit vague about it. And then perhaps switch the question back on to her. And that's how you need to remain during those first few fragile weeks when she could easily be turned off by you. So essentially don't just offer information about yourself. Let her ask about it. Let her pull the information out of you. The next thing that you want to do is you want to be fun. You want to be a, a person that she wants to actually hang around. And basically this means not being a negative Nelly all the time, okay? So don't be negative talking about all your hardships and all the things you've been through or the fact that you're in debt or any anything negative, anything negative. Now that doesn't mean that you lie to her. So if you are going through struggles in your life and she asks about them, you can talk about them, but obviously put a positive sort of spin on it. Don't be, don't talk about it in a negative way. So don't act like it's defeating you and you feel run down about it. 
just be like, well, yeah, I'm in a bit of debt at the moment, but this is a thing that is helping me grow as a person. So I don't really mind it at the moment because it's making me develop new skills. So if you say something like that and you put something positive on it, it comes across as much more better and you seem like more of an emotionally centered person. And if you feel like you can't put a positive spin on something that's negative that is going on in your life or has happened in your life, just don't talk about it. Just don't bring it up. Or if she asks you about it, try your best to make it positive, but then, change the topic onto something more positive. You also wanna do fun things together. So make sure that you don't just go to some place like a cinema, especially on your first date. You wanna make sure that you're interacting with each other and you have space to talk. Going to the cinema is not a great place to go. Um, also going to a club straight away is not the best kind of place to go either because there's not really, it's too loud, you can't really talk. And the same with gigs as well. Go to somewhere that you can actually talk and have a conversation. Perhaps even go to places where you can be a little bit physical with each other. Okay, so what I mean by this is going somewhere like where you can play bowling or something. Somewhere where you can interact with each other. Or miniature golf or something. You know, you want to do something where you can, you know, mess around and play and push each other a little bit. You know, gently, obviously. You know, just somewhere where you can interact. And also, it's something fun that both of you can do. The best way to do this, the best way to make sure that you're on the right frame and on the right route is to... Before you go on a date with a girl, just ask yourself, is this going to be a fun experience for her? How can I make this experience more fun? How can I make this more enjoyable for her? If you ask yourself that before you go on a date, your brain will come up with answers and it will give you an idea of where you want the date to go. A great um, thing to think about as well is just think about the song Girls Just Want To Have Fun. That's a, that's a great way to sort of look at the whole initial dating process. Girls just want to have fun. They just want to, you know, enjoy themselves, let their hair down and have a good time. They don't want to be worried or anxious or... You, you just want to focus on the girl that you are dating to have a good time. And being fun and being positive is an attractive trait. Being negative is not an attractive trait. So if you want to seem more attractive to her, just be a more positive person. Someone who's fun to be around. Someone that she would enjoy to be around. Because have you ever been around someone that's being negative? You know, it brings you down, it makes you feel sluggish as well, it makes you feel bad. You know, you want to be around people that lift you up. So if you are one of those people, the girls that you like will want to be around you because they you lift them up, you make them feel happier, you make them laugh, you make them smile, you always do fun things when you're together. That's the kind of person that you want to be in order to be attractive. So the next thing you need to do, and it's really, really important that you do this, and it's that you need to always act like her lover or potential lover. You never want to come across as a friend. So one of the ways that you do this is to not like talk on the phone with her for hours and hours on end, messaging her all the, all the time, you know, telling each other about your lives, you know, in, in detail. You know, you want to act like a lover. So that means meeting out for her on dates, making sure that she knows it's a date by saying, would you like to go on a date with me? So she knows. The best way that you can actually do this without saying it's a date is to actually meet up in the evening because it comes across, comes across as more romantic. So if you met out for coffee or for lunch, it seems more like a friendship thing. Whereas if you meet out in the evening, it seems more like a sort of like a, what a lover would do. So you also need to flirt and be playful. So make sure that you obviously be very careful with innuendo so it doesn't come across as too sort of sexual or something. Um, but you wanna make sure that you flirt and that you're playful. And if you've ever watched how James Bond interacts with his women, that's a great way that you can sort of incorporate flirting and being playful because he's a very good sort of like role model in how to interact with women, especially women he's just met. So that's a great way, a good role model that you can have if you are trying to come across as that playful and flirtatious type person. So the woman that you're interacting with or the girl you're interacting with knows that you are interested in her romantically. Other things that you wanna do is you wanna make sure that when the opportunity is there to make your move, you do it, you take it. And the way to know if a girl is open to be kissed or to be, you know, hold her hand or something is that she will sometimes like touch you. So if she wants you to hold her hand, she may bump into your hand or something like that. Then you know it's okay to hold her hand. She may even just come up and hug you when she sees you. You know, that's another great way that she's open to be touched. If a girl wants you to kiss her, she will often look at your lips quite a lot. So if she's looking at your lips a lot, it means that she wants to kiss you. So go for it. Okay, you want to make sure that you start closing that gap 
pretty quickly because you know if you're hanging out with friends you know usually there's a good like space between you but if you like close the gap one of the good ways you can do this is if, let's say you've decided that you're going to hang out and you're going to go around to different places or perhaps you've met at like some kind of market or something you know just like grab like one of the things that I used to do was especially when I first met my girlfriend is that if, if we went to like a place where there's candles I would like open the candle like take off the lid and give it to her and let, let her smell it so she would come in closer to me you know all that kind of stuff is really really good and that's a great tip that you can do you know you can say like oh look at this you know just grab stuff and move in closer to her you know or let her have a sip of your drink or something like that do some things that are very intimate with each other and one of the ways you can do that is by actually closing off that gap and being close to the girl that you like and that you're on a date with. I mentioned this in my previous video but I recently wrote an article on how to be more of like an anti-hero and why women are attracted to anti-heroes so make sure you go and check out that article and give it a good read so you realize how you need to be coming across especially in those initial stages of dating. So if you've mastered these three videos and you've um, really implemented them then you are now ready to move on to the next stage on learning how to develop your relationships, how to have a good relationship, how to make sure that that relationship has good communication. So that's what you've got to look forward to next. So that's it guys, that's the end of this course. Please keep an eye out for future courses. There's going to be another one coming up very soon on about how to have and maintain really healthy relationships. So if you're still struggling with talking to girls, then please go back through the videos. Make sure you implement the things that I've said. And I hope now that you feel a lot more confident when you're talking to girls and trying to get yourself a girlfriend. Anyway, I hope this has helped you. Please subscribe, please like, as that really, really helps my channel out. And I shall talk to you again very, very soon. Bye, guys.